Tic Tacs, what's up man? Right on time, bro. I just ordered a pizza. Uh, I, I don't feel well. I think I'm gonna go to sleep. Oh man, don't tell me you're on that paleo crap again. Uh, I gotta crash. Oh, snap. He finally went and became a vegan. Twenty minutes later. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Tactics and you guys have been asking me for the longest time to make a workout video and with Spider-Man Homecoming out in theaters right now, I figured why not make it a themed workout. So we're going to kick things off with a light warm up starting with 5 minutes of skipping. Now being Spider-Man consists of a lot of swinging, therefore you need to make sure that you have strong and healthy shoulders and the best way to do this is to simply just hang from stuff. Now here I'm hanging on a pair of rings, but if you don't have that, then you can always just hang from a bar. Next we're going to go into Buddha prayers, you're going to drop down into a deep squat, then you're going to bring your elbows into the inner part of your thigh and basically push your hips open. Now knee pushaways are similar to Buddha prayers except your hand is going to be placed on the inner part of your thigh and you're going to be pushing your hips open trying to extend as much as you can at the elbow. With sky reaches, you're going to grab your ankle and then with the other arm, you're going to rotate your body up, leading with the elbow and then extending your arm to the sky. Okay, next we have hip rotation. So you're going to be in a crab position and then you're basically going to internally rotate your legs inward with the objective of trying to drive your knee down to the floor. This is going to work on your internal hip rotation. And while in the same position, we're now going to rotate our leg outward with the objective of getting your heel to point towards the sky. And as you can see, mine isn't that good. Next we have active leg extensions. While laying on your back, you're going to pull your knees into your chest and with a flexed foot, you're going to extend your leg up the best you can and hold for a few seconds. Okay, next we're going to work on some wrist mobility. These are just wrist rolls. I don't really think you need instructions on how to do this particular one. Here we have wrist waves, which is a great mobility exercise uh, that you should definitely do before loading your wrists. Or, you know, you can just use it in a dance battle. I don't know. And then we got wrist rocks. You're basically going to stick your thumb out along with your pinky. And you're going to just shake at the wrist joint and make it nice and loose. And just do this for a couple of seconds. And lastly, we have our wrist relief. Now, this is going to be your go-to move whenever you feel any kind of soreness in your wrist. We're going to be on our wrist quite a bit, so feel free to use this whenever you need it. Okay, so I feel like a Spider-Man workout wouldn't be complete without some Spider-Man push-ups. So, in order to do this move, get into a push-up position, and while lowering down, bring your knee to your elbow, press up, and then repeat on the same side. Now Spider-Man push-ups are too easy for you, you can add a traveling component to this exercise with lizard crawls. Now the same cues apply, only when you press up, you're going to shift your body forward in a traveling form. Now if you're feeling really badass, then you can always do option 3, which is low lizard crawls. Now these may look easy, but these are going to kick your ass. Next one I like to call cliffhanger L-sit pull-ups. You're basically going to pull up and hold in that position for 5 seconds and then lower down into an L-sit for 5 seconds. I, I did them a little quick though. Now if holding the L-sit is a little too challenging for you, you can always do option 2 and do the tucked variation. Okay, we got bear crawls next. I chose to do these on a bench because doing them on a narrow surface actually makes it a little bit more challenging. 
but if you're new to bear crawls, feel free to just do them on the floor. With forward monkey crawls, you're going to drop down into a squat and then extend your arms out in front of you. From there, you're going to shift your body forward as you plant your hands on the ground. Then using your hips, you're going to bring your feet past or close to your hands as possible. These exercises may look simple, but do these for a distance or time and you'll definitely feel it. Now, if you lack the hip mobility to do monkey crawls, then you can substitute them with squat walks. Now, once you've mastered the monkey crawl, you can pair this with the forward traveling ape. This is kind of like a combination of a Kong vault in parkour and like the crane pose in yoga. Now, to get the forward traveling ape, you want to practice hip stacking and trying to lower down with control using your core. Once you've developed the core strength, try leaping forward with the same amount of control. Next, we'll move on to our lateral traveling ape, which is similar to the forward traveling monkey, only now we're adding that hip stacking element. If you want to get a deeper stretch with this movement, extend your leg as you land and then shift your weight into a wide open squat. And then finally, we'll end things off with some side to side jumps, which will improve your strength, stability, and coordination. Oh, and side note, don't do these while wearing a mask. I almost ate it while filming this. Okay, for our cool down, we're going to start with a crab reach. You're basically going to be in a crab position with your hands six inches away from your face. Elevate your hips all the way up until your head is looking at your base hand. Your reaching arm is flexed and relaxed, and then you're going to return back to your starting position some cues while you're in this position you want to make sure that your hips are driven all the way up squeezing the glutes at the top and your feet remain flat on the floor also make sure that your eye line is tracking your hand all the way up until you can see your base hand think of it like your your hand is trying to choke the shit out of you and you're watching to make sure that doesn't happen the whole purpose of this is to make sure that you're avoiding rotating too much to the side for the scorpion stretch, you're going to lay flat on your stomach with your arms extended out. You're going to bend your knee towards you, lift the knee up and reach it over to the opposing hand and then extend your other hand up to the sky. This stretch is great for opening up the chest, stretching up the shoulders and the quads. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've been trying to do this video for a very long time and I thought with Spider-Man Homecoming coming out this week, I figured what better time than now? That's not so random. So try out the workouts, let me know what you think. And also let me know if you're watching Spider-Man Homecoming. I'm super excited for this because Spider-Man is one of my favorite superheroes of all time, second to Batman, of course. So yeah, I'm about to get my tickets. Peace, and I'm out.